So I'm out here today on a kind of a, just a wild shot. Uh, I'm near like a major highway. And uh, this little creek here, so I thought I'd just check it out real quick. And I uh, have my lucky Can You Chig It t-shirt on. And it's a good thing because I got really lucky. I've been here about maybe half an hour. I haven't really found much. I'm just looking for and listening for big stuff. And I got a nice signal. I thought, yeah, it could be a cannonball, maybe. So I started digging around and I grabbed a hold of something that felt like a, uh, come on. Felt like a tire, you know, like off a little wagon or something. So I pulled it up and I'm looking at it. It's pretty cool. I think you'll like it if you know what it is. But if you don't know what it is, I'll tell you. Are you ready? Look, I didn't smash it with my pick. I just used my fingers to dig. Okay, this is how I looked at it, okay? When I first picked it up, I was like, ooh, that looks interesting. Not. Then I turned it over because it felt interesting on my fingers. It actually felt interesting. You know what that is? Do ya? Sure you do. That's a bullseye canteen from the American Civil War. Can you believe it? It's not very often that you find them in this shape, obviously. And this thing is awesome. The only thing that's missing is the spout, which would be right here, and I suspect it's probably still in the hole. Look, it's even got the little straps. This is where the straps would go around in it, and it'd hook into these little places right here so you could swing it over your shoulder. And this would probably have been covered with felt uh, or wool, I guess, and uh, you would have been blue. I think they're blue mostly. And that helped keep the water cool in the summer. But that is a really, really cool find. I'd much rather find this than a cannonball. Much more rare. That's awesome. I hope that the rest of us down there. And we're going to be uh, a little more careful when we hear signals that... Um, well, we're going to start digging a lot more. Because I've been passing up anything that didn't sound big. And not anymore. Awesome! Well, I looked and looked and looked, and this is the only thing I have found in that general area, which I um, think I'm hearing a lot of these cans. Of course, being right along the road, that's pretty much par for the course. Um, so, yeah, we're going to move along the edge here. The river's up a little bit today. It's kind of muddy, so I'm not going to stick my head underwater. But uh, we're going to stay here a little while longer. <laughs> Aren't we? Sure we are. There's a really thick layer of mud. That's where the old stuff appears to be. This is like a piece of tin something. Luckily it wasn't another canteen because it obviously did not come up in one piece. Uh, but the mud is really, it's about, uh, the mud layer is about eight inches thick. It's, I mean, you can dig through it with your fingers, but it's really tough. And I think that's where the good stuff's going to be. So the cans are probably going to be laying on top of it. And the Civil War era stuff is going to be underneath and protected. That's good. Although I have not found anything else for a while, so that's not good. And we don't have that much more <laughs> bank to go. I'm going to do it today because the river is really gross. And I'm going to wait till it clears up and I can do a good job down here. But we're not done yet. But a canteen, I could quit for the day. So I just took a couple steps from where I found that piece of tin. And I just found this piece of junk I thought was an old wheel or something. <sighs> oh well. Um, we'll keep looking. But did you notice something about that piece of junk? It's another canteen. It's flattened, but it's a canteen. Look at it. This is where the spout would go, right here. It's missing too. You can see it's the reinforcing. It goes right around here. These are the little notches I was showing you where the strap would go. There's three of them. And that is a flattened Civil War canteen. Man, that's flat. I wonder if they used that for a, uh, a pan or like a little... Uh, Something to eat out of dish. Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Oh, that's cool. That was that one was actually not buried at all. I just picked it with a pick. So we might be in a really good spot where either you know the soldiers threw stuff away, or maybe even after the war, people just pitched uh, stuff in the water here. <laughs> that's cool. Two canteens. That's awesome. Lucky chig shirt. Get them while they last. This came out of the exact same hole that second flattened canteen came out of. So that's probably Civil War era. I have no idea what it is. But uh, we'll keep looking. I wish the water was clear. Maybe we should come back when it's clear. That way we can get some good underwater shots. Because you know me, I love those underwater shots. And I know you do too, don't you? Hmm. Now we'll look around a little bit. We have to look around a little bit longer. 
Well, I went out a little bit deeper and I got another piece of canteen. This one's flattened too. You can see where the strap uh, holder is right there. And I'm going to set it on this rock. Unfortunately, it's a little bit deeper out there and I am not going to stick my head underwater uh, today because it rained recently. You can see the water's mucky and it's actually, you know, got leaves and stuff floating on it. So there'll be all kinds of bacteria and stuff floating in here and I don't want to get sick. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be in here anyway, even with my, uh, you know, because I do have some cuts on my leg and stuff. And I could get infected, but hmm, we'll stay around a little bit longer. If that had been a plate signal, I wouldn't have dug it because it was actually, I had to get it with my pick. Otherwise, I would have had to go into water. And it ain't going to happen today. But because we have that many canteens, uh, right in this one small area, uh, we will definitely be back here when this goes back down and clears up a little bit. Absolutely be back here. I guess this is an old shovel. I'm not 100% on it, but it looks kind of like the top might have had a place for handle to go in, but it's flattened. It may not be. I had one great signal down there that might be a plate, but I had to get my head underwater. And I'm not going to do that today, but we'll definitely come back here. I promise. When we get time later this summer. Now this is an odd one. <laughs> what do you make of that? Hey, I don't know. It's heavy. It's a very modern looking fitting on it though. Some type of fitting oil, I reckon. Had a good signal, that's for sure. Well, it made a good signal, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, the river is definitely rising. Um, we're gonna have to get out of here for the day. See his bottles coming down and all this stuff. Ah, uh, geez, that's horrible. But look at this teeny tiny turtle over here. Isn't he precious? Hey, little buddy. I cannot believe he didn't swim away. Hey. All right, that's it for today. Um, got those three canteens, well, three canteens, two and a half. And um, I'd love to stay, but it's, it's just getting kind of, it's getting much grosser than it was when I first got here. There's all kinds of stuff floating around. Just look at it. I can feel the bacteria invading my cuts on my legs right now. All right, say bye-bye to the little turtle.